All right, so this one is even a little bit more trickier. Okay, a little bit more tricky, a little bit more trickier, a little bit more tricky. I think maybe that's the grammatical one. That's the grammatical ticket, folks. It's important to know how to speak. Anyways, what made last uh, example a little bit easier than this one is because on, on one side we had one term, and on the other side we had one term. How many terms do we have on this side? There's a plus, so that means that there's one term on this side, and one, um, oh, one rational term on this side. This one right here is just one term because, yeah, 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 we have pluses and minuses in the in the uh, denominator and numerator, but it's all under, like, they're all one on top of another, whereas see how these two are distinct. So that means when we multiply by the lowest common denominator, we need to hit this one and this one. That's going to be something that some people are going to trip up on. Um, please, uh, please don't. <laughs> all right, first things first, let's factor x plus 1 over x plus 6. Yes, I do need to write all this down. Um, plus x minus 2 over x plus 4 equals 11x plus 32 all over the... This is what I can fa uh, factor. x plus um, 6, x plus 4. At this point, we can write our lowest common denominator which is going to be x plus 6 times x plus 4. And what I can do is I can state my non-permissible values. x cannot equal negative 6 or negative 4. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply all three of these terms by the lowest common denominator. x plus 6 x plus 4, x plus 6, x plus 4, times it by x plus 6, x plus 4, uh, over 1. Now, what can I cancel out with here? x plus 1, sorry, x plus 6 can be cancelled with the x plus 6, so we're left with I'm going to rewrite this here. x plus 4 times x plus 1. I can cancel out this x plus 4 with this x plus 4. So then I'm left with plus x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals x plus 6 cancels with x plus 6. x plus 4 cancels with x plus 4. So then we're left with 11x plus 32. Now what we're going to do is we're going to expand these out. x squared um, plus 5x plus 4 plus x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 11x plus 32. I simplified these uh, pretty quickly. Um, some people are going to foil them out, but at this point in the game, trust me, if you don't have the skill of being able to like expand one of these uh, really fast, please come and talk to me, because uh, it's going to help me on the exam. Not to mention, in grade 12. Now I'm going to collect my like terms. 2x squared, 5x plus 4x is 9x, minus 11 is negative 2x, um, 4 minus 12 is negative 8, minus 32 is going to be negative 40, equaling 0. I can factor out uh, 2 from all these terms, so 2 times x squared minus x minus 20 equals 0. I can factor this. 2x minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. So what this tells me here is that x has to equal positive 5 or negative 4. Now hold the phone. Let's double check if this can actually happen. 
the x has to be 5 or 4, but x, uh, sorry, 5 or negative 4, but x cannot equal negative 6 or negative 4. So that means that I have to throw away this option right here. My negative 4, it says uh, because, uh, because if it was negative 4, it would bring this denominator and this denominator to 0. We can't have that as part of the solution. So the only solution is x minus 5, uh, sorry, x equals 5. The way that I want sh you to show work with this is I want, you to, um, I want you to do exactly what I showed you here. I want you to write both options down, but to put a cross through the one that you can't consider. And really, if you, if you really want to be a keener, what I want you to do is put an arrow to your non-permissible value as a kind of reason, as a kind of rationale as to why one of the values has been thrown out.